Hey y'all, it's Wilder Welder here with Extreme Fabrication and I'm here to talk about a couple of issues. Uh, a lot of people buy these uh, Salt Dog SHPE 2000. They've been around for about 16 years now. I love this spreader. We sell a lot of them. It's the uh, entry level two yard spreader for most contractors. If you're a contractor just doing two to five tons of salt per storm, this is a unit one half. Once you get over five tons or some bigger units that we would talk to you more about. The uh, SHPE 2000 has had a bad rep in the past and it's a lot of it comes down to operator error, lack of maintenance and stuff like that. So uh, we just sold this one here to Blair at Revit Auto and Blair said, hey man, I've, I want to do a little how-to video. So this is a couple things you need to do with the SHPE 2000. The biggest one everybody forgets to do with this spreader is to grease it. And a lot of people don't realize that about 10 years ago, buyers put this remote grease fitting that's right back in here. So you just gotta make sure you take your handy dandy grease gun and put grease in it after every time you wash it off. And that's the most critical thing. People never wash these off properly. They wash the outside, don't realize you have to wash the inside of them out too. Because there's a metal trough in there and the salt gets bound up in there and gets crusty and causes some issues. So you make sure you wash that all out and then you gotta make sure you grease the bearing because you're trying to get that salt water back out of the bearing to turn rust it. Now the nice thing is, Fires went to a stainless steel bearing a couple years ago, so it does make life a lot easier. And if you have an older unit, we can upgrade that. They also went to a stainless steel auger mechanism. The other biggest thing guys have problems with this is they go, they put too much salt in and they plow the whole storm, the salt kind of compacts in there, or they flash if the salt freezes up the unit. And people complain about how they don't have salt in out. Now the older version of the 2000 had two uh, six by six openings that the salt route through. These new style, which is the new rounded style like this, which also has the optional poly top flip open top thing, which is great. If, you, if you're gonna buy one of these, buy the optional lids. Is the new version has a completely open auger design, so it's less prone to jamming. But if you have a jamming issue, there's two tricks with that that I always tell people. One is when you buy one of these spreaders, go out and buy yourself an inch and a quarter wrench. Because in the end of the shaft here, you take the spinner assembly off and up inside there, there's an inch and a quarter nut well to the end of the shaft. So say you get something jammed up in there and it goes in a jam mode, then this will actually cycle itself backwards to try to clear the jam, the forward to clear the jam. If it still does up and the jam lights come on, you gotta get out the wrench to break it free. And it can be something simple as a uh, chunk of frozen salt. I've seen asphalt, the best one of all time. I had a customer said he lost his wallet in a snowstorm. He accidentally dropped it in the salt spread and I got the credit cards and everything else came out when I was unjamming it for him. The other trick is to say if your whole pile of salt locks up, you're gonna laugh. I always tell everybody who buys one of things, six gallons of windshield wiper fluid. Make sure you get six gallons, because what you do is your salt freezes up in the spreader, take the, cu the cover off the lid or open the lids up or anything like that. If you got the poly cover, take that off. Dump the, any the uh, windshield wiper fluid all over the salt and give it about a half an hour. This will actually, with the glycol in here, will actually loosen the salt up and it'll start coming out. So that's something you guys really, really wanna look into along those lines. So I always tell people, this is the quick thing. And again, the most important thing with the salt dogs is once you get the salt in them, You've got to load, put the cover back on or flip the lid shut if you have the optional lids. You've got to keep that salt as dry as possible. That's again with any auger drive, even if the bigger units still sometimes have issues with that. The number one thing that everybody screws up on a salt dog spreader is the electrical connectors. Nobody ever puts dielectric grease in it. So once you're done, you want to make sure you take regular dielectric grease and pack those suckers full before you put it on and off, and that will limit a lot of your issues. And again, when you take it off store, make sure you do both ends. Now, a lot of people complain about the end of these plugs and everything, that they do have some corrosion issues, and Byers does make an aftermarket kit to fix it, but yet have some special tools. So here at Extreme Fabrication, we worked with a supplier, and we got these awesome little guys. Come see us about these kits. It's a direct plug and play kit. You just gotta strip the ends off. It comes with all the heat shrink connectors and everything else. And then we also have an optional plug cover that seals it up completely. So if you want to see one of these, come see me at Extreme, we'll get to take it. We also have them for the spinner assembly. We also have them without the optional plug here if you want to fix it yourself. So that's a couple of neat things about the Salt Dog Spreader. I just wanted to get some of the guys, get some general issues they have with them. And you can see it's a bunch of lot of users operator, just lock and maintenance. Again, maintenance is the most critical thing with salt spreaders. They're in the most corrosive environment in the planet. You're getting salt in them, they require maintenance. Like I said, washing them off, greasing them, lubing them. And if you know anything about fluid film, it never hurts the fluid film down a salt spreader when you're done to keep any additional corrosion on it. So I hope you guys had a, uh, had a lot of fun here this winter. I hope you guys made a lot of money because again, it does snow. Right now it's raining here in Maryland, but we got snows coming here soon enough. But if you have any questions, feel free to see us here at Extreme Fabrication. We'll get you taken care of. We're open 24 hours, guarantee when it snows.